The president of Citizens United and longtime Clinton rival David Bossy is slamming the 2016 presidential hopeful. This after she promised to pack the Supreme Court with judges who will overturn a court case that defends the First Amendment. In part two of One America's interview with Bossy, Matt Shuck talks 2016 and GOP favorites. In part two of my interview with Citizens United President David Bossie, he gives One America News a detailed look inside the controversial case that took the nation by storm. The logical extension of McCain-Feingold is that if you can ban movies, meaning the government, if the government can ban movies, can they ban books? And the Solicitor General of the United States, the Deputy Solicitor General of the United States arguing the case, answered yes. That's a frightening thing. We don't ban books in America. We don't ban speech. Now that the debate over money and politics has stretched on for several years since the Citizens United case, David Bossy isn't phased by Democratic politicians like Hillary Clinton using him as a talking point for those on the left. He says the truth always wins. You know, we've become uh, an incredibly well-known brand in America. Uh, I know the left uh, wants to uh, tear us down at all times, and that's, that's a perfectly fine thing for them to try to do. Uh, the truth always wins out. It may take time. It'll come as no surprise to see more fireworks between Hillary Clinton and Citizens United throughout the 2016 race for president. With the anticipated release of the second Hillary documentary, the question on everyone's mind most likely will be, what will happen next? But before my time with Bossy was up, I had to ask him what he thinks about the GOP's large list of presidential candidates. This is what he had to say. I love our bench. I think we have a big, broad, deep bench, unlike the left. Uh, after Hillary Clinton, they got nothing. Uh, and I'd rather be us than them. Matt Shuck, One America News, Washington.